Whew, that was a big section, and we finally set up ASP.NET Identity in our application. So let's just take a look at a very brief summary before we move on to the next part. And in here we looked at ASP.NET Core Identity, we've set it up, we've configured it, we've got it working, we've protected our data with authentication, and we're sending out JWT tokens to our clients who log in and register to our application. And we've also seen how we can pluck out the username from the token when a request comes into our API. And we'll be using that a lot to get the currently logged in user as they navigate around our application. We've also added a new project for infrastructure. And we'll use this for a few things that are kind of separate to our main application where we just provide a little service to provide a small piece of functionality for our application handlers. So coming up next, we're going to take a look at client-side login and registration.